Leadership Institute in East London. Yeah, East London. And it's day three of the pitching sessions for the Nabu Bomi 2008 Interschool Short Film Competition. Now, not many contestants have arrived yet, but the selection panel is definitely hoping to be blown away. Can you please tell me what your name is and where you're from? My name is Bulumko Tugad and I'm from a school called Uvua. I'm Uvua Dangazela, I'm from Tanzani, in Sensua High School. My name is Loisum Chigelo. I'm a grade 11 learner from Fundani High School. We are here to present our script. Uh, I've wrote a script for Nabu Bomi, so today I'm pitching it. What inspired me most is that I also faced a situation, a similar situation like this one that I'm writing, that I'm going to pitch today. Can you please tell us what your name is and where you're from? My name is Makoka Atolile and I'm from Jumba Senior Secondary School here in Umtata. My name is Tandukazi, I'm from Umtata, from uh, Kanisa High School. It's my dream to be a script writer one day. So that's why I decided to, to, for me to do this. I'm feeling quite nervous, but I'm happy because I have never had such an opportunity like this. When I look around, like in my community, in my church, I see teenagers who are, who becoming, who are becoming mothers at a very young age. So I want them to be aware of the dangers of becoming pregnant. We feel good because it's a real good opportunity. And what makes your story different from what you've seen? Just because other people just think it from the mind, but I... I have written this from experience. I've experienced it once. Uh, you know the procedure. You're going to have to tell us your name and which school you're from. And we will give you one minute to tell us your story, and when the, man, when the minute is finished, we'll hit the bar. And what is Ready? your story? Uh, the title of my, of, okay. Uh. The name of my script, it's No More Silence. It is taken from the point that, from the fact that South Africans are being xenophobic. This story is about a bully who becomes bullied. Confidence turns to embarrassment. Uh, Nomsakazo is the main character in this story. She's a nasty girl who doesn't listen to her parents. They, 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 they face some challenges on the way of fulfilling their dreams. But she, she didn't want to talk about it to anyone else. This story takes place in a small village in Case Kamauko. There's this girl called Nomsa. She met a guy called Lefty. They were had an affair with the girl. He got a chance to taste some of his own medicine. He makes a move in her and she turns him down. She was very scared that no one will believe her or thought that she deserved it. But he, he turned to on drugs and alcohol. This play is trying to send a message to those people who are xenophobic. To, to those people who are xenophobic and... And... It's trying to send... <laughs> <laughs> she was... She was left alone. It was a very nice pitch. Questions? You said Bluetooth stole my? Confidence. Oh. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like I, the I like name. Okay, can you tell me what's your closing scene? What happens at the end? At the end, well, she did tell her mom. I still don't know. You've told us how your story is set. Yes. What happens on the paper that's in your hand now? In my paper. Very, very quickly. Okay, quickly. Who's your main character? There is a South African who is xenophobic. He's a businessman. There's not really enough tension. Um, how much are you going to show with this nude thing? No, we, we, I would love, like, the camera needs to show it, but, like, <laughs> then fades away. So that it will be the next morning then. Well, what is this? this, this, this <laughs> what is, like, what are we going to see? Like, we'll, we'll see, like, trying to tear a shirt off, but we'll not see the pictures are really nude. But it doesn't really happen in a school context. It doesn't happen to people at school or from school. 
um, so it doesn't it doesn't seem to really fit um, fit with this project. Yeah, sorry, but well then I'm trying, mm. and um, yeah. yeah. Thank you for so. coming. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. Thank Very you. nice. Thank you. Okay. First well done. They are standing there looking at her like. It's like she's an angel of a sort, but not a real angel. She's like... <laughs> okay, I, I like it. I want to read the story. Basta the script? Basta tanga. Ah, basta Well, how are you feeling? <laughs> Great. So, continue to go up? Yeah, I'm going to encourage you to go to the next day. Good luck, Susan. Thank you. Well, so, you're going to go to the next day? I'm going to go to the next day. I'm going to go well, thanks, man. Okay, thanks. The name of the story is called Harvest What You Planted. This story is about a bully who becomes bullied. Yes. 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 Right. yes. Unlike one of the old and stood students of Kufiu, who was usually a bully towards other learners, got an accident whilst doing his evil activities. And after that accident, his life changed dramatically. He got a chance to taste some of his own medicine. The target audience of the story are learners, especially those that are bullying others. I'm trying to show them that what they are doing may come around in a worse situation, just because I also once faced a similar situation. Thank you. Right, because we've chosen 166, uh, 165, 166 can't be chosen unless we're going to shoot two at the same school. I'm here to represent my script called Bluetooth Stole My Confidence. Confidence tends to embarrassment. A story about a young, confident girl who is so sure of herself that people are checking her out everywhere she goes at school. She is the, <clears throat> she is the best girl in that school with confidence. There's a boy named Leo who is with the popular crowd of boys. He makes a move in her and she turns him down. So he decides to do something about this and tells his friends that this girl turned me down and there's no way to treat a player like then. Then they do something to Miss Mbambo, follow her to the loo, then took nude pictures of her and sent them via Bluetooth. The reason I chose this story is because children do get these things, especially girls, and some commit suicide, some change school because of these reasons. Thank you. Uh, 166? No, I think I'll choose one. one I like 166 as well. It just needed a bit of the ending. Yeah. yeah. So we we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll test you. But we've now. got 165. Yeah. We're happy with 165. Yeah. So they're from the same school, eh? Yeah. Harvest what you planted. East London. Is, yeah. We were senior secondary in East London. <laughs> With a, with a marker, they're going to change the numbers in that and take one, bam, and we start filming. So, there'll be a clapperboard operator for the whole day. If we shoot it so that we can see what's happening maybe under the desk, maybe they are looking at the, the cell phone or something, you can decide. I, I'm just giving you a suggestion, but it's, it's your film. Okay. Maybe the camera's but from behind. The camera's behind them, yes. So we see what they're doing and we see the teacher's the busy teacher's working and then the teacher notices and starts shouting at him. Just arrived at Uviwa School, there seems to be a lot of excitement. Actors are gathered together, they're ready. Action. What are you expecting from today? How are you feeling? Oh, today I don't expect any bad things, but there's a saying in English that says, always expect the unexpected. Who's on clapperboard? Okay, yeah, two of you can come to Ike. Show you guys what's what. With me is Bulel, one of the crew members. What did your job entail? I was a clapper girl there. 
-hmm. and it was fine. I was just sneaking around and chasing the cameraman. Running. Scene three, shot two point two, take one. Action. Did you know that there was this kind of work behind television production? No, I didn't know it. I just go to my teacher and said to him that Thailand and Balis and do this job for this day only. I didn't know that there is something that I can do about this. With me is Sipamanda, one of the lead actors. He plays Mzolisi. How did it feel when the director said action? Yeah, yeah. The scenes you've done, how did it go? Yes, I'm back out and it's my first time like being in front of the camera. So like it's quite shock shocking. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad. glad. I'm with one of the crew members, Ayanda. He's a bomb swinger. What have you learned so far? And from there put by switch is the bands are now because they when they sound from a bomb swinger to a sound sounds in general as long as I do put. Would you like to be a bomb swinger in future? How do you feel about your students' involvement in this project? It's really exciting, it's awesome. I'm glad that Malenas are involved in this whole thing because basically it's for their own development. And I believe that by getting involved in, 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 in this whole project, then this is going to take them far. Action. Cut. With me is VC Isa who plays Zinte. Well, tell us about your character. Oh, Zinte is cheeky and she likes gossip. <laughs> With me is the main actor, Dalutolo, who plays Mandilake, the bully. Have you considered a career in this field? Yes, I have a career in the field. 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 I'm with Mzolisi, the script supervisor. What exactly is a script supervisor? A script supervisor is someone who supervises the scripts and the actors. They, they, he makes sure that they make, they say the right things to the camera. Cut. Okay. That's a red boy. Yeah. We're wrapping up for the day and I'm back with the director, Bulumko. Did it go the way you wanted it to go? Yes, yes, no can as young I didn't like a phone and could be e act high yet to be one zebi money pin a pin to go why is the other got high as in as a kid. Now seventeen a gay one zebi, I go pay. Yeah, Panzi and Lima and Yan and Ogi, why, Opa? As in 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 what in the first place motivated you to write the story? Hey, no one motivator. You know, but none police. So I'm happy police and go. I'm none pooping as is bully pulling police. I you know as a kid, I'm the one who's in charge. I'm the police. Double pull. Come in. You guys have seen the first cut, so are you guys satisfied? Yeah, we're very satisfied, yeah. Yeah, and I'm very happy, yeah. Yeah, because this is what this is what I want, Yabo. I was told the police can't even land there. The police are saying, "Oh, na ganja, iyo, stolen." Young Indian, I'm going to show them these takes. This is okay. This is this is rehearsal. Young Indian, the police can't even land there. The police are saying, "Oh." You are you can there's no change about the movie. To just was the only land to be safe for now, yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm being a land to be safe for now, yeah, boy. Yeah, go go get a safe one in this note. Yeah, as for no change at all, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy.
Caramba, é trend! Eu sou! 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 Eu Don't take a friend. My phone is gone. Donnie. It was here in my pocket. I are you sure it was in the side of your pocket? Y yes, I'm 100% sure. Don't you know? It's my leg. My leg. I'm 100% sure of that. It's my leg. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Okay, Johnny, just calm down. I'm going to report. We have a phone and cell phones. So just let me take it. But one day, he will answer. So, as I was saying, there are many things that oh, affect so inflation. I'm going to go to the house. At the end of the day, asking why you are failing. But you're busy making noise when I'm teaching. But I'm such a man. <laughs> Come in. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Sam. I'm here to report my lab and that the lunch is out. Leave him alone, son. I'm tired of that boy. I'm just waiting for him to finish the final exam and I'm giving him a transfer letter. He's going away from this school. Okay? Do you think I'm a fool? Hey, I'm so you take this book. I want ten right now, or as you don't get your books. I'm like, I'm going to get I'm going to get tired. 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 I'm going Get away, Lenas. Move away. Good morning, Lenas. Good morning, sir. It is with deep sadness that I have to report to you today 
that one of your fellow schoolmates, Mandilake, had a terrible accident yesterday and now is in hospital. He is permanently paralyzed and cannot walk. Especially, the situation is serious. All we can do is to hope and pray for Mandilak. reward for all the evil things you have done. Class Kachomi, leave this truck alone. The prayers have been answered. <laughs> uh, come here, you idiot. You've been tormenting me for a long time. Eh? It's only fair that you have the seeds that you planted. Forgive you that you can only see in your dreams. By the way, could be the rare. Let's see how fast you can run. It was a driver, don't lose her meeting, son. Eh? I'm here standing in. Bang! Come and help. <coughs> Sorry, George. Sorry, me. I'm going to let my mother come and drop out. I'm going to let her let her be the for my life. My son, do you know in life people are met by many obstacles, but what is important, you must never give up. Who did this to you? I want to go home! Come here. <coughs> you know what you did is not right. Yes, ma'am. Are you changing to be like Mandilake before? No, ma'am. I think you have too much hatred, my children. You must learn to forgive. Ah, try to share, boy. Oh!